Welcome YouTuber to another video and this time the, we're going to be dealing with Corded UI test. It's a different video for a change. I use in Fiji Studio a 2013 Ultimate. I'd be normally be using the 2012 Ultimate actually. And a Corded UI test is an automated test. You do you simply will call your action, whatever you do, i show you what I mean. So I'm going to show you how to create code UI test. We go to file, and we go to new project. Visual is on the Visual C Sharp. We go click on test here. We go to UI test project. We click on OK. You just name and give the solution name. Click on OK. This is what I love so much. Now, it will ask you to generate a call for a coded UI test. I will tick this box, record actions, edit UI map, or add assertions. We click on OK right there. I'm going to be using calculator for my sample. Here we're going to record action. Right now, there is nothing. The Jamie code select Jamie code for code UI test. So to do that, we need to do something. So we're going to start recording. So we're going to start recording. Click on the calculator. And we're going to do 1 plus 2. We'll click on equal. And we got 3. Now that's just recording action. We start right there. Now we generate code. And we're going to say add one and two. We add and generate. We now have generated the code. Doesn't stop there. Now we're going to do another one for assertion. So we'll just record again. This time we're going to, oh yeah, if you do any other action besides this, this will gray out. Because it's no longer assertion. But straight away, we are going to assert something. We're going to check the figure. So we're going to click on this. Click on target UI, the blue eye. Click and hold. Blue box. Let go. Now here is add assertion. We'll go to display text, like we will check the number, we we'll add the assertion. We're expecting three. Otherwise failed. We we'll click on OK. Now we generate code once again. Add assertion assertion method one. We add and generate. Now I'm going to do another assertion. This one for failing the test. So I record again, click on the box again. This time, same thing, this time I'm going to expect, pretend I'm going to expect four. It's just purpose, just fair to test. I'm going to expect four. We generate the code again, we add and generate. Now we had that done. There you go. And now, if you want to see how the code is created, how we did the code, uh, you click on this UI map dot designers, and if you look under add one or two, that way we generate the code, and this is how the code is generated. Very effective. It will generate the code. I hit the calculate type bar. See, very cool here. Click the one button. I use the mouse. If you hit with the key, it'd be different. And uh, pretty nice. Very accurate code. It's very useful. And I kind of love this one. Quite useful. To be honest. So now that's done. We head back to the coded UI test. 
Now there are two assert, this one for passing and this one for failing. I'm going to go out, I'm going to comma out the part that does fail. And we're going to run the test. And sure, it does pass. So let's run the test. And do not it. You're going to open the calculator. 1 plus 2, 3. Oh, that's quick. It does pass. Now I'm going to show you it does failed. So I'm going to gray out the part that is true, that does pass, and put this in that failed. We want to test again, like before. Let's do the same thing. Now I put in 4 as expecting result. And as you see, it's fair. Now, if you want to test on best interest not to touch anything, and it does fair. If we click why is fair, we get here. I ain't expecting four because I type four, but the second argument we're expecting four, but the actual is three, therefore it's fair. It's pretty useful. You can you can write down the unit test. If you fail, not too worried. Because you can keep working on it till it pass. That's how useful useful it is. Now, if you want to bring back the the coded UI test again, because it had the builder disappear, I go to the project and we can add coded UI tests. There are also other type of tests, but the one is coded UI test. Click on this. And we click on OK, same thing. How long it lasts? Seven minutes, OK. Uh, we need it to end. OK. Um, we delete this. OK, and there you go. And you bought back the builder. Alright folks, and that concludes the video for coded UI tests. I hope you got learned a bit. Um, please wait, subscribe and comment on my video. I will do more tutorial video like this. Now I also going to show you other software. I have an open broadcast software. I didn't use it now. So I'm going to show you other software application. And for those fans who follow my games, I'll be continuing that. So that's it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please wait, subscribe, and come up my video. I see you next time. Stop the video here.